Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video of reacting to the best drummers in the fucking world, okay? Today we are going to react to Eloy Casagrande and Eloy is not only a really good friend of mine, but also in my opinion, and again this is just my opinion, he is probably the best metal drummer alive, or at least the best studio metal drummer alive. And I will tell you my reasons in this video and then we can talk about it, okay? Now, who the fuck is Eloy? Okay, Eloy Casagrande. Grande was born in 1991 and he didn't start playing drums until he was seven years old, okay? One year later, he finally got a real drum kit and then he started to practice. And suddenly, five fucking years later, he won the International La Batuca Drum Contest, which is obviously, like the name indicates, a international drum festival. And that's a fucking big win, okay? Now, that could be it, but of course it's not, because two years later, he won the Modern Drummer Festival. Remember that this happened in 2006, and back in 2006, Modern Drummer was, and probably still is, but Modern Drummer was the biggest drum magazine ever. And I'm just saying this because back in 2006 that was probably the biggest drum contest in the world. And this guy won the first prize being just 15 years old. 15 years old, man, that's fucking sick. Then he stopped, he spent the next year traveling across the states doing his shit and then he suddenly disappeared for like 4 years, probably. Until finally with 20 years old, 20 years old he joined Sepultura. He joined Sepultura with 20 years old. I mean, I cannot even imagine how professional this kid was back in the day in order for Sepultura, Sepultura to hire him. I mean, probably there was an audition and there were a lot of drummers and that was Brazil. There are a lot of very good metal drummers in Brazil, but this guy with 20 years old, he fucking took the job and he is still kicking it nowadays on Sepultura and touring all over the world and recording CD after CD. So that's it. That's a lot of hard work and that's something that I really admire in Eloy. Before I start, let me just say something that I find really, really fucking important about Eloy. Eloy and I started talking on Instagram long time ago and I gotta say that not only he is one of the best drummers in the world but also he is an amazing human being. In fact I told him that I was going to record this video and he said thanks. I mean thanks. Why would you say thanks? He's a drummer from Sepultura. I am nobody. I'm just recording videos on my fucking basement and the guy said thanks. And that's one of the things that I really like about him. Not only he's one of the best drummers, but also he's so fucking nice, so fucking humble. And I feel like I really need to say this because I've been talking to a lot of drummers from all around the world. And I gotta say that I found some motherfuckers that are really, really, really awful people. And this guy's not. This guy is amazing and I just thought that you should know that before listening to anything because in my opinion and that's just my opinion you can play like a fucking machine but if you are not worth anything as a human being then you are just a big pile of shit but it's not the case so you asked for this video and right now we are going to react to Eloy Casagrande playing the heretic anthem by Slipknot but we are not going to watch the whole video we are just going to watch the drum track okay and that's because you are not going to believe what you are going to hear the amount of precision and the speed that happen on this video are just unbelievable and on top of that I gotta say that this video was completely recorded by using the Yamaha EAD for those of you who don't know what the Yamaha EAD is it is just a microphone that you put on top of the bass drum and it records everything. But that fact is really fucking important because achieving a good sound with just one microphone is hard as fuck and I'm telling you because I have tried and I could not get that motherfucking sound even if I tried for 100 years. So with all of that being said, let's just take a closer look at what Eloy did with this masterpiece, the Heretic Anthem by Slipknot. Okay, let's go. 
Let's just stop right here and let's say a couple of really fucking interesting things. The first thing that I gotta say, as you can see, the symbols are pretty different from one another, okay? Obviously he's using pasty, but there are a lot of different series right here. He's using the Formula 402 hi-hats, I think, as well as one crash and probably another one right here, but he's also using a couple of pasty root, which were the symbols that Joey Ordison used to rock back in the day, right there we've got a little hi-hat and right here a little stack. Also he's using the PST stack which is cheap as fuck and of course we can find the really famous 2002 over here over there and of course a china over there now this is also really interesting because this means that this guy has tried everything and he has just chosen each and every fucking symbols in order to get a certain sound out of the kit and that may seem obvious but believe me it's not we can also see a little bell right here let me tell you that bell over there that's as small as fuck and we are watching it like this it's probably placed two meters high so unbelievable and now the last thing he's playing a tama star classic maple with the satin gold finish and we can see that he has changed each and every drum head but not this one and i'm saying this because what we are going to hear is just the sound of a really big floor tom that has just been taken out of the fucking box and that's something really interesting let's see how that sounds now we can keep watching this I think... Yeah. Wow. Ah! Okay, let's... Let's stop. Let's stop right here. That was fucking sick. That was fucking sick. That was some serious power and of course the most precise display of swivel technique that I have probably seen in my whole fucking life. But I'm pretty sure that he's going to keep rocking it, so let's just keep watching. Okay, that feel was tasty, I was right, the bell is so fucking high, but let's just take one moment to appreciate what he just did. Okay, whenever I'm feeling down, this is the guy that I watch in order to motivate myself to quit playing drums. There is a secret that most of you don't know about Eloy, but he told me, if you could only take off his shoes, inside you would find a couple of these motherfuckers, because there is no human way to play like that. I repeat, he's not using triggers. My man is not using any triggers, so with just one fucking microphone, he is sounding like that. That amount of precision and the strength is of course impressive, but you gotta add the fact that he's playing at a supernatural speed with no triggers and you can still hear every single fucking note. <laughs> It's exactly like having triggers without having triggers and that is something really interesting because triggers were invented because 99% of the drummers cannot play like that. In fact, they couldn't play like that even if they played for their whole fucking lives. And I'm pretty sure that that sound is probably the result of hours and hours and hours of practice with the swivel technique. That was fucking clean, that was fucking dope. Unbelievable, my man. Personally, I have never tried that technique before. It just looks weird to me, but I like it. I like the results. So probably I will ask him for a couple of lessons because I definitely need that. Let's keep watching. That's beautiful, I don't know if Joey does that on the song, but just playing the 666 six, six with that china was nice, and that's just the result of what I told you before. Picking each and every single symbol in order to get a specific sound at a specific time of the song, and that's fucking genius. This guy definitely knows what he's doing. Let's just keep watching.
Now, that's where the comments go like, that's the only part of the song that I could possibly play. Yeah, I dare you to play it like that. That was some serious strength, but not only that, you can hear that's just one note. There are no flams between the rim shot and the bass drum, and that's something that I talk about to my students in my academy each and every fucking day. If we are playing unisons, we are playing unisons, we are looking for this, and not this, or this, or this, we are looking for that sound. That is something that may look simple, but it's not. And that was the most obvious moment, but it's not the only moment, because the hardest thing about recording Slipknot is that they didn't use any click track. They were just playing, and they were rushing with the emotions, and also dragging. So playing to Slipknot is really fucking hard, because you gotta run faster or slower, depending on what they did on the studio. And doing that without getting any single motherfucking flams with your rim shot and with your bass drum, especially when you are playing parts like that. <laughs> That's just probably the hardest thing that you can ask to a metal drummer and he's just nailing it, there are no mistakes and I mean it, there are no fucking mistakes, not in timing and not in precision, speed and accuracy, that's just crazy, let's keep watching. I like that, I like that. You can see this cymbal over here, you can see that it has a really huge bell. I think that you can also see a little moon gel placed in here and that's probably because those cymbals are really, really fucking heavy and I mean it, I own cymbals like that. They are really loud and by placing that moon gel, you get a sound that's so aggressive that you can play things like he just did. He was just playing a linear chop between the drum kit and his bass drum and he used the fucking cymbal instead of the tom and you really could listen to the cymbal as if it were a fucking tom because that's something so aggressive to play and because he has every single detail under control so really nice one let's keep looking nice one I love that detail. <laughs> no way. You could You see that face? So you're a killer. Sir, yes, sir. Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! Ah! Let me see your real war face! Ah! You don't scare me! Work on it! Sir, yes, sir! That's the machine gun face, you know? When some guy like this stares at you like that, you know this is coming. This is like, I'm getting ready and check it out. Shit, man! Yeah, yeah, you play the symbol like that. How can you not get tired? Not only about the endurance and all that shit, obviously. Is it necessary to humiliate each and every one of us? Check that drum fill. Woo! My man! My man, the whole Bruce Lee routine. Check that out. He's not missing one note. The bass drum is like linear. <laughs> fucking perfect. And on top of that, we are getting fucking ninja, okay? That's just unbelievable. Check that out. Ah! Ah! Fuck me. Ah, that's the face. That's the look. 
Check that out. Check it out. I'm killing it, mama. He knows it. Didn't miss one note. I'm playing the percussion as well because you know, because I got a huge dick. I am Brazilian and my dick is like a fucking anaconda, so I'm playing the fucking percussions as well. Yeah, why not? Chokes! That was just fucking perfect. Ah, ah, I see what you did there. He missed the fucking symbol, but he missed it on time. Because we you were watching a master at work. Okay. Ah, also, something really interesting. I think that's a right symbol, but I think I saw... Ah, that's a lot of duct tape. That's a really interesting trick in order to get rid of the overtones, so now you know that. Blink and you'll miss it. Check it out. That fucking right symbol ain't no fucking this take. No, sir. I, he, he's strong. You can see that. He's huge. If the stick got caught under the symbol, probably he would just ah, fucking split the symbol in two. He doesn't give a shit, my man. Another! Nice! Nice! No way! More ninja moves! Ta -da! Is that it? Yes. Oh, I think I'm crying. I think I'm crying. Yeah, you look down. You motherfucker, you look down. I think he's just pretending to be breathing. He's not. But you know, he tries, he tries. Okay, now everything that you heard was coming from one microphone. And the good thing and the bad thing, of course, as well about that is that you cannot edit anything. Because if you cut one sound, all the symbols and everything are going to be really weird and everyone's going to notice. Now, I didn't hear any of that. He's playing to a track that has no click and he nailed it. There was not a single moment where you could say he's out of time. He played it so well that probably if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even have noticed that he was playing a track that had no click. You cannot feel the difference. He's just making everything so fucking smooth that it sounds natural. And on top of that, he's playing some of the hardest grooves and chops that I have ever seen in my fucking entire life. Now, the footwork that we have just seen is so clean that we should really create a fucking religion to admire this new god. Seriously, just by watching this clip, you can get a really good idea of how good this guy is. There are not a lot of metal drummers that have enough big fucking brass balls to record a track like that using just one microphone and nothing else, no triggers, no nothing. And there is a reason, because we cannot get that sound. He is just out of this world, and whenever I see him, I really want to sit behind the kid and practice for hours and hours and hours. And that's probably the best thing about this guy. He makes everything so smooth, so familiar, and he's also such a nice guy that whenever you watch him, all you want to do is just fucking practice. And that's about metal, but if you could only see him playing all the Latin stuff, you would be dead. But nowadays, he's more focused on playing metal, and he is doing things like that. And that is just unbelievable, so really, if you didn't know this guy, 
Check him out, check every single video, you are going to be blown away. And if you did know him, I think that you have a really good taste in music. So with all of that being said, please don't forget to comment down there whatever video or drummer you want me to react to, and I will just count all the comments and whoever was mentioned the most fucking wins. So if you want me to react to one specific drummer, don't forget to mention that drummer like a fucking thousand times, okay? As always, it's been my fucking pleasure being here sharing this afternoon with all of you i really appreciate that you are here with me today and i really hope to see you all soon on the next videos buddies take care and enjoy your practice see you soon